Lewis, I need your help. We're gonna need to. Don't speak. You may speak. What were you doing? Just thanking the Lord God Almighty. We take him down, Jessica. We fire him alone. I am tingling. What, Harvey? Just tell me what. Mike Ross just bought another 2% of Gillis Industries. He must be leveraged up to a scrawny little neck. Exactly, and he's gonna be scrambling for funding. You want me to get your TRO removed? How do you know that? Because you pissed off Judge Ramos, and now she can't stand you. How do you know that? Oh, because I keep a list of your enemies. Do you want to see it? Just get it done. Oh, I'm gonna get it done. It's like taking candy from a baby. Lewis, we're splitting Mike's focus. That doesn't mean he won't be prepared. Oh, he can prepare all he wants. But the student is about to meet the master because Ralph Macchio doesn't stand a chance against Mr. Miyagi. You know the Karate Kid? <laughs> It's not cool, Harvey. Ah, oh, well, if it isn't the boy wonder. Lewis, hey. Don't Lewis me. You left without even the courtesy of a how's your father. What does that mean? It means that I'm not here to exchange pleasantries. I'm here to get that TRO lifted. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm also sorry to hear about Sheila. Bullshit, you're sorry to hear about Sheila. What are you talking about? Come on, you have to have heard. Heard what? She's engaged. It's all over Harvard's Facebook page. you do this? She said she could never be attracted to a handsome man. Yeah. And that picture doesn't even do him justice, but this one, however. A thong? Yeah. That. What the? Yeah, it's a whole, like, beach thing, I guess. Long weekend. You're a son of a bitch, Mike. You're not even sorry at all. You're using this to get into my head. Lewis, come on. I can't believe you. You think I would use Sheila's engagement just to get you off your game? Never gonna work. That I would stick it in your face that she's all up in this guy's business in a way that you've never seen before. Put her off a duck's back. That right now she's probably scrapbooking the first day of their relationship, which apparently happened just weeks after you broke her heart. You're the devil. Next up on the docket, Sidwell Investment Group versus Sanders International. Looks like that's us. I'll see you in there. Lewis, I can't believe it. I give you one goddamn job to do, and you, what are you doing up there? Harvey, please, I can explain. Explain why you stood in front of the judge like a moron? What possible explanation? Sheila got engaged. What? When? This morning. Lewis, I'm sorry. I was so sure that you would just come around about having children, you know? That's why I've been turning down all those J-Date requests. We'll get Mike another way. Oh, you're goddamn right we're gonna get him. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch if it's the last thing I do. What are you talking about? He used the Sheila news to get into my head, Harvey. Used the news or gave you the news? Please. What difference does it make? What difference does it make? It makes all the difference. Like, on the one hand, I feel for you, and on the other, you're the world's biggest idiot. Look at my computer. I've been staring at it for three hours. It's real. I don't believe it. Yeah, that Adonis on that yacht, Sheila's fiance. That Adonis is a Photoshop picture of Lorenzo Lamas from 1998. Who the hell is Lorenzo Lamas? Well, I can tell you who he isn't. He isn't Sheila's fiance. <sighs> oh, thank God. Are you even listening? It was bad enough that Nigel rattled you with your unread cat letters. Now you're letting Mike do this? Harvey, please. Shut the hell up! Look, I tried to warn you, and you stood there with your stupid leg up in the air, telling me that the student was no match for the master, and all it took was one doctored picture for you to shit the bed! I didn't mean to- Shut the hell up! 